Welcome to Elder Scrolls Universalis. This is the Vampire Throne. Welcome back to the Volcahair Empire. I, I know we're not technically the Great Kingdom rank yet. Um, oh, we're so close. We're so close. Under, under um, what is that, 12, 17? It's 170, 62. 162 away. We are so close in terms of development. I most likely have that much development just sitting in these cores waiting to be reclaimed. I will get there. I, I promise. I will get there. I have a couple different ways to actually declare these wars. Well, Pale would get drawn into that. Hmm. That would be a way. Huh. I have I have different options here on what to actually kick off. I had thought that I was going to attack these guys, Greymore, because they keep jumping on the coalition, they keep attacking me, and they attacked me when I was in offensive wars last time. Actually, no, I am going to do that for sure. For sure, that's what we're doing. That is for sure the game plan. I'm going to bring a bunch of troops next to Greymore. Uh, you're not training... You'll come down to Greymore. And I want to point out something. My vassals, Adesina and the and the, um, the Dreadboard clan are fighting each other. They're in a war with each other. Vassals, stop fighting, man. Why are you fighting? It's it's totally not necessary. Now I have another idea group I can go ahead and take. Since I'm just so chronically short on Diplo, I'm going to not take another Diplo, and I am growing fast. I'm going to go with the state, uh, state administrative ideas for that governing capacity. They have some other. Maintenance 15, Caravan Power. This is all good. Corruption's really good. Merchant's really good. Institution, not bad. The goods produced. And then core creation, 13%. How do you go wrong with that? The only other one that, that jumped out at me was humanist, obviously, just because I have a lot of unrest all the time. But it doesn't give me my government. It does not give me the governing capacity boost that I am looking for. So we're gonna go with state maintenance, and we will uh, we'll ride that all the way to the top. Okay, I don't know if when I attack on Greymore here, when is it gonna be Evening Star? I'm not sure. I don't know the months of this world off by heart, so we'll just we'll let that mock speed five, and whenever it says the uh, that that truce is up, I just know it's this year. It's in the evening star. Last last seed you think would have to be sometime around the evening star? Nope. Oh, last seed would be end of spring, or yeah, right, end of spring, like when you're seeding your harvest, maybe. I don't know. A poorly educated guess is what we'll call that. A poorly educated guess. And I love how like, all these provinces are converting in just months. It's taken no time. Okay, there we go. That is what we want. Now, again, I'm doing it this way. I could probably get more opportunistic wars tacking for just my cores first. But then these guys are going to attack me again in that war. And I, I can't have it. I have to take... The fight to them. Now, look at this. It's a 50% aggressive expansion for this take capital of annex neighbor vassal. Sure, whatever. It, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't look like I have to give it to my subject nations either. All right, Sarthal, where are you? You're up here. I can't co belligerent you, so there's no point in even trying. And uh, yeah, let's get on that capital right away. To this fort. We'll get all three forts right away. And doo -doo -doo. not sure if I'll spot someone up here. Get out of the mock speed five. And this guy. Now it's finally. Do I have more? Ooh, I'm actually fairly stable in the west there. I I may not have rebellions popping anytime soon in the west. I'm gonna I'm gonna run them a bit bit east. Come on east, boys. I don't really care about this nine thousand down here. It's not, it's not too bad. Like, the, the, the map, there's not too many en enemies around me. I don't feel like I'm alone in the dark here. This, what can I build you up? I could build two, I could build eight units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we'll let that army just form up there, and hopefully they don't get stacking wiping as they're doing so. 
Now I'm curious. So they're still fighting each other. And they didn't join my war because they're still fighting. Because Adesin is not loyal. He didn't join. What's going on here? He's still my vassal. I don't. I'm not really sure what the the mechanics might be slightly different for this mod, and I'm just not. I'm not sure exactly how they work. All right, he is still colonizing up. I'm gonna take his coastline. If he keeps his capital for for a little bit of extra time, that's whatever. It's not concern to me. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to take that next diplotech as soon as I can, because I I am getting a um, a corruption hit for that. The unbalanced research point zero eight a turn. I don't need it. I do not need it. So we have three forts going. I'm coming on east to see if you can help. I'll keep him more in the central land. Oh, we lost that sweet leader. A new king, 554, five, not bad. Oh, and I lost that 3,000. Oof. All right, we're going to go ahead and delete all those boys. I should have just ran them out. That was a little risky just leaving them where they were, but not the end of the world. We'll reform a new army of Night Stalkers back here. And let's get the Navy out of my area, too. Ooh, they got eight, he he eight heavies. <laughs> I'm trying to say eight and heavies at the same time. <laughs> they got eight heavies there. Will my uh, will my fleet get there in time? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we have big numbers advantage now. Who's red? Did I not see a red boat in mine? Am I losing my mind? I, I'm perhaps losing my mind. Well, we're winning that battle, and I can see. We're both taking losses, they're taking more than me. And I have the bigger, better economy. What happened there? No problem. So four and seven, so we can build 11. Two, three, five, eleven. Nice little army that I will leave up there. And that allows me to run this 25 stack east. We're coming east, boys. They're going to finally come get involved in these wars. It's going to feel good. We'll go right onto that capital. Mm -hmm. All right, so he is colonizing that way. I'm not going to grab his colony. There is a fort over there to jump on. So we'll do that. My subjects are just fighting each other. It's so silly. It's so silly. Why are you fighting each other? We have we have mutual enemies we can beat. We don't have to fight each other. Come on, guys. You you, you crazy... What are they? The Reachmen? They are. They're both Reachmen, I think. It's Reachmen fighting Reachmen. Well, the Reachmen are a wild folk, apparently. A wild folk. And that gets rid of our uneven tech penalty. We can take our next military tech as soon as we get there. And we'll just start going through the uh, state administrative ideas. As you do. They have big numbers. Yeah, over 100,000 troops total. I by no means am, am plowing over them. But they, they don't... They're not too keen on, on um, ganging them all up into these super piles and, and, and like death stacks and chasing after me. Are you going there? Oh yeah, you are coming. Oh, well, that was a mistake. See ya, five transports. Sure. And I'll just keep this army at my force limit over here. Because you're going to be dealing with whatever rebels pop up. They will pop up. And we will deal with them. All right, there's our far eastern fort. Probably more important we get on the Hajmarsh capital. They're just going to hate it. I'm not going to feel it at all. I'm not feeling this dog. I can spend a bunch of relations with you. You are max. Why do you hate us so much? Just I've converted so much of your culture. And you, you can't stand it. Sorry, man. It, it happens. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to absorb these guys. They'll just be this little, you know, whatever. This haven in the interior of uh, the Volcahair Empire. We're growing elsewhere. We're growing lots elsewhere. So it's not... It's not um, stunting our growth, let's say. We are still doing just fine. 
Do I have claims on Wayfair? Let's get a claim on Wayfair. His empire has been smashed to pieces. Where was that? Enemy occupation on me. Oh, I see you, 22,000. Where are you going? Where are you going, 22? Yeah, I see you over there. I'm not going to let him sneak on me. So here's that governing capacity. We're at 2,030. Shabam. And we're at 2244. Much better. Lots of space for growth. I thought this episode I might be I might be hitting that peak, but no, no, no. Lots of space for growth. I don't need that 22,000 just appearing. Smashing me away. It looks like enemies are occupying my, my subject's lands, but it's just them, again, fighting each other like madmen. Like mad reachmen. Okay, so that is an enemy. Greymore is an enemy. That's a forest. So we'll definitely take that battle. He sees us coming. Yeah, it is wise to reinforce. With, with my luck, he's going to take it the day I'm arriving. I'm going to be arriving, he'll take it. and That just seems to be what's happening again and again. Old Kingdom, I don't think you're part of this war. No, he's not. Okay. Let's get ye old carpet sieging commencing. Six stacks are, are safe. Yay, I got there in time. For once, I got there in time. Giving us a plus one. Send them flying. See ya, boys. Alright. It's like the, the losses are fairly equal, but I don't care about that. I have I have manpower forever. I'm getting 5,000 manpower recovery every month. I don't see them eating up 5,000 of my manpower consistently month after month. Oh, that's unfortunate. Rebellion to pop there. Will we get there in time? Yes! Yes! Very good. <laughs> These guys were going the wrong direction, but whatever. My, my other allies got there in time to help out. Okay, we'll take that fort. If they insist. Split you up. Send half down. We'll keep this rolling carpet siege for. We almost lost one of my little stacks there, so I maybe I'll keep the army in two. Fours are a little too small. Like it seems like I'm being too cautious creeping forward like that, and then you almost lose a, a, a portion, a significant portion of your army. And you're like, eh, okay, I have to be a bit more reserved. Fine. Go right to the the next naval battle. We're not waiting. Oh, he was, he was moving on us, apparently. Twelve. You are my... You are my safety reserve in the west. Though that 12,000 is not going to be big enough. If I get like a 40,000 stack again on my capital, that, that, they're not going to be able to handle that. And then run forward on Sarthal. These guys are just allies. Yeah, they they would be worth because they're allied. Look, they're both they're allied with both Old Kingdom and Hajmarsh and Helgen. Three countries I want to take to war independently. So I may be taking these guys to the limit and breaking up all their alliances in this war, which wouldn't have been my initial war goal, but it has now become a strategic objective. Let's call it. Oh, I'm doing really good on the forts. And most importantly, war goal. Though their numbers are high up. I'm not taking a huge amount of battles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're at 0%. I'm at minus 7. I would love to blow a hole in that wall and just force my way forward. Force my way in. And then that's the war goal, of course. Greymore. We will be... Oh! Oh, we lost that naval battle. Oof. Did we lose all of our heavies there? I believe we just lost all of our heavies. <laughs> okay. One, 
two, three, four, five was the number we had. Um, transports we had we had ten, so we'll, we'll, we will replace two of our transports. And that'll give us at least two more lights. Oh, that's the wrong boat. Ah, uh, we'll go four more lights, just to, in case we lose some more in this battle. This war is not, the, the war is still young, we could still lose more. Oh, they, they abandoned the, the, the siege for whatever reason. I don't know why that was. That's the war goal. It is not wise for them to abandon that siege. Oh, look, my one, what? Did my one vassal force my other... Did I just lose a vassal? What happened here? Adesina just made my other vassal not exist. You've got to be kidding me. I am... I am... That's silly. And then they released the Timberclock clan, who I can make my, my vassal through peaceful means by the looks of it. Okay, that's interesting. So we we will do that. We're we're gonna. <laughs> I lost a vassal. Subjects, stop fighting each other. You guys are silly. Old kingdom claims for sure. We have a claim on Windhelm. I'll point out, and that is the palace of the kings. That's why I took this province here, so I could get claims on that on those provinces. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really... I'm not sure what they're doing. Why they didn't go for that war goal. I'm, I'm just getting a ticking war score. Whatever else they're doing, like a fort here or there, it's not... It's not doing anything. And, and I'm on their capital anyways. So it's definitely uh, AI malfunction. Go for the war goal, you fool. You had two to one numbers on me. I suppose we'll come south. Liberate the fort. Hmm. Right, Whom does not have a leader? You. Let's remedy that. We don't need this extra long siege. I'll have to. I'll have to take this, and then I can throw the leader on once I take that province. Let's get you both sieging at the same time and. I don't know. I don't know where their armies are. Like, where are you hiding at, man? You have to have you have big armies. Look, they're intact. They have a hundred thousand troops intact. I only have about a forty thousand total troop advantage on them in total, and my troops are all spread out all over the place. They just need to make one scary doom stack and start running around and hitting me, but they're not for whatever reason. Okay. So we get a leader with a three siege. Look at this guy, seven, six, seven, three. <laughs> oh, how good is that? Let's go get that. Let's go get that fort one. Yes, jumps to 49% like instantly. They're like, yeah. <laughs> it's like they, they this general shows up and the general literally is a vampire with wings. And the, the defenders are like, what? This guy can fly? Was that stupid movie from the new Star Wars? The, sorry, the the stupid line from the new Star Wars. They could fly now. That's the that's the image just popped to mind there. They fly now. Um, Boba Fett had jet pack and could fly, fly for a very long time. Like this is new. They have they have warp speed. Hello, of course we could fly. Anywho, there we go. That is the final Graymore. Fort. It feels good, man. Forty-nine percent, seventy-eight percent. They're just running out of forts to be sieged down. Like I'm gonna have to take battle with them because, well, wherever they're hiding, they're running out of spots. One, two. Those few can remain occupied back up and we're heading in we want we want battles i see their armies here and i want battles with them i want bloody battles up. so everyone is occupying or moving 
Okay. Like a like. Do I also come back for some bloody battles? Or I keep these keep these sieges going? No, I want bloody battles! <laughs> I want bloody battles. Let's have some bloody battles with Greymore. Or at least on, on Greymore Clay. Oh, these guys got released too, who are not my vassal. Anyway, so these are two different vassals that got released? So my vassal deleted one of my, my loyal vassal and then released two unloyal vassals. Vassals, you're a douche, Edicina. I just want to say that. You're a douche. And I'm not happy with you for doing that. That didn't help me at all. Your overlord is not pleased this day. Is not pleased at all. suppose I would get claims to kind of join this all up. Though that's... It would be one more. Alright, we'll work on one more claim with you. I don't know if I would go that aggressive in a peace treaty with him. It seems like a lot, but we'll find out. Now, all's well. Are you one of my enemies? No, you're not. No, it's just like... It's these boys. I can't get there. Alright, so be it. We're all going to the same place. This 126 stack has three armies converging on it at once. Whether he realizes it or not, he is in serious, serious danger. I do have 10 minutes in the episode. I did want to kick off against these boys and wreck hold. I could just divert one army north and do so. Now, this is Tundra. I'm not going to get much of, a, of an advantage here, but 467, General. Get out of here. I just want battles with them. I have endless manpower. As long as I can take them and force them into battles. I will wear them down. Ooh, we are losing that, though. That was a little, little unexpected. All right. All right. Next guy's up. Next army up. All right. The unrest is coming back. We're three over our force limit for some reason. I don't know how that happened. We lost a bit of force limit during this war. All right. Next. Take them. Can they? Oh, it's one to one this time. They can't win one to one. Off you go. Off you go. So you got sent into a retreat. We'll just go up and occupy some lands. Are you fighting them, Old Kingdom? No, he's not. Old King Oh, Old Kingdom getting stomped by someone. All's well as came up to stomp Old Kingdom for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah, whatever. That's not my problem. Your problems are not my problems. Those rebellions certainly are. All right, there's the there's the obligatory rebellion on my capital. That might be what stops me from declaring the second war on the cold. Oh man, we have spot for another leader. Yes, we do. So we'll get another leader. A rebel clearing army in the west will do the best they can. They're, they are the little train that could. They will do the best they can. Got the one siege here. Mm. Oh, he's hiding right there. Get together, boys. Yes. I did not realize you're sitting in what is the actual plot of land? It is highlands. Not too problem. Or uh, not a problem. Hmm. I don't think it's a shack and wipe in because I didn't he he got a full month to replenish. But whatever. We beat him and send him running again. That's the key thing. He gets not a not a moment of respite. He's just like, what? I thought we had peace. I thought we were relaxing for a bit here. Like, no man. There can be no peace. So there's a capital rebellion. <laughs> Done. Pour him up. Go to the next one. You will hopefully fight them on the mountains. Get that beautiful plus three advantage for it. Uh, I don't think I can get onto their capital. So, or onto that island. Cut in half. Do some carpet sieging. As you've seen several times when I try to cut myself any more than that. They just seem to pop out and attack me every time. So 
So I'm I'm learning my lesson. I'm not going to do it again. Mm. All right, new military guy. Yearly army tradition decay. I do like that. I do like that. The manpower recovery speed. The reinforcement speed would be more important than the manpower recovery. Because I just have so much. But no, I want that tradition. What are we sitting at? We're at 89 army tradition. How sweet is that? That is a huge part of why we have the superior troops. Like, We're not ahead on tech. That's for sure. We are not ahead on tech. Why can't I not go there? That seems odd. What would stop me from going to this one problem? Oh, they're part of Skyrim. So Skyrim formed? What? This is Skyrim? A one province minor just over here? With, with no real cores or anything. Okay. Whatever. We'll deal with you. <laughs> yes, bring on the rebellions. Okay, so you are fighting them on the... I'm going to say they're going to beat them. They're just peasants. I am going to have faith that they will be able to handle those rebels. You, sometimes George Michaels taught us you just gotta have faith or limp biscuit if you prefer. <laughs> yeah, I guess the, the guess to uh, generation I can. Well, no, I don't. In all fairness, I'm I'm not old enough to re remember the George Michaels when that came out. I was uh, maybe not even born. I don't, I don't know what year. Sometime in the eighties. I was born in the eighties, by the way. So yeah, that would have been already kind of like a joke thing of the past for us, you know. We, we were kind of teasing all the 80s floof hair and all that stuff. The cock rock, they called it. The, the, the you know, the, the never-ending solos and the big hair. Yeah, not my time. I would have been um, more of a 90s, 2000s kid, you'd call me. Or at least I, I came to age in the 90s, 2000s. More of the 2000s. I have so many forts occupied down. I have the war goal for the entirety of this war. How the heck... How, how the heck do I not have a higher war score? It's, it's a little suspect again. Just slightly. Just slightly so. Like I said before, I, I definitely want to break up the Sarthal's alliances. You cannot have all these alliance allies anymore, Sarthal. Unacceptable. You must leave. You have too many friends. It's making me jealous. Mm. Alright, back for some more rebels. Back to them. This 11 seems the way to go. So you're northern. So I know they're going to go on to that capital. So I can steer them accordingly. Alright, so you know where I'm going. Hello! Hmm. And we'll just keep stepping forward. Stepping off forward, no big deal. Now let's take battle. 7673 seven, general. You're not even trying to run. It's a tundra, so I get no advantage. That's probably why they're choosing to siege that down and not run. But oh no! Oh, the morale didn't save you this time. You didn't get no lucky rolls. Yeah, he's having a bad go of that one. Will be the last two. I, I'm, I'm not going to worry about the islands. And we will piece them out. How far do you get to run? Like, you're running at a place. Oh, he may be going right here. I am going to gamble that he is. Not that it's a, an actual gamble. I'm not gambling anything. I'm going to hope that he. No! Oh, he went the other way. Too bad. It's almost like he saw me move on there. It's almost like the AI can see these things. They're not supposed to be able to. Hmm. Right, on to the next 
battle. Oh, I was mistaken. He moved. He moved north instead, or south instead. He didn't. He didn't go to the his old capital, where I expected him to go. Sir. Okay, way too many pop-ups. Close everything, please. Thank you. You're coming back to Hodge March. Whatever I can get from this guy, I'm going to get. I'll wait to the end of the month. Bring our diplomat home. And I have to at least break up his one ally ship. I, hopefully all three of them will. He'll be willing to let go. So much occupied land. I, I don't even know where all, those, where all those provinces were. It is okay. Move right on to there. Separate up. That's that battle one. Okay, Sathal. Sarthal. Sarthal. You got 79% war score on you, dude. Come on. Helgen, yes. Hajmarch, yes. Old Kingdom, yes. Yeah, I don't care about anything else. You won't even give me a single duke yet? Acceptable. Acceptable, friend. I have isolated you, and, and more so, I don't even care about isolating you. You are no longer gonna fight for my enemies like you have been. See, he's a junior of Hat he's a junior par partner of Hashmarsh. So we'll run on to his capital, but he's he's arguably less important. I think he only gets I'm not sure how they how they tally that war score. He doesn't get hit with the with the negative hits um, at the full rate because it's not his country, but it might actually affect war score the, t the same. I'm not 100% on that. Is that 24 stack running away? Where are you going? Alright, get your boys back together. And I am going to make Greymore pay on this one. I have 83% war score. That is not enough. I, I definitely want to eat. Because it's a half aggressive expansion. If I if I understood that right. The um, the Cassus Belli right. It's only half aggressive expansion. So I really should be able to take twice as much. As, as I've normally been taking. Hmm. Back together now. I have a kind of reformed navy. I don't have all my heavies again, but we got 23 lights. That's nothing to scoff at. 23 lights is a significant navy. He still has a seven heavies, so I'm not going to take battle with that. No, no, thank you. Next diplo tech, and we're uh, we have no uneven tech. We're, we're not even ahead on our military. Do, do, do culture conversion cost? Yes, let's go with that. I like the culture conversion cost because I am converting so much land to vampire. Hmm. We have them almost completely carpet siege down. I'm. It seems odd. It's eighty-six percent war score. I have I have their overlords siege down. I have them siege down. Why do they think that they're in this war? And I have a ticking war score this whole time. It's just because, like, Majinar is over here, like, untouched. You know? Well, whatever. You you remain untouched. Tell yourself that you guys are still in this war all you like. And there's our colony. That's actually unfortunate that the that colony finished. We wanted that colony to just basically go forever. Because now we don't have this bonus, a colonial nation. So if I can... Ooh, he does have a colony being built. Just just one? Oh, it's just one. And I want him to keep colonizing. That's unfortunate. I can't snatch his colony. Hmm. Well, I can, but then he then that, that one plot will remain uncolonized. And I don't plan on taking a colonizing idea group. So as much as possible, I want to leave, leave enemies alive so they can colonize for me. And I will harvest their crops. <laughs> or is their children? <laughs> oh no! 
the vampire mindset. It's a beauty. It's a thing of a thing of just sheer beauty. Eighty nine percent. Again, they they feel like they're in it. They really do. Ah, this is the one. I'm gonna grab this colony from Hajmarsh, and it's just started, so it'll it'll count as my uh, age objective for a long, long time. Ninety-one percent. It's a little, a little odd. <laughs> How is it not more? What are you talking about, even? Now I don't know if I can seize colonies in this in this expansion or not. I don't actually remember. It's fine. Oh, it looks like I can. So fifty. All right, that saves me having to do it in the war. Nice. And I, I'm a colonial nation again. I jump back into here, and just like that, I'm getting my splendor from it. Woohoo! Feels good, man. It's good that I thought to do that because I, I absolutely could have just completely forgot. And then, and then not taking a single colony and then not been a colonial nation. That would have made me so sad. Oh, I didn't get them. 92%. I don't get it. I'm not going to lie. I don't get it. How is it only 92% war score? Look at how much I have. I have all of this occupied down. It's only Majner, who's a subject nation. Oh, they have some forts in the south. Still, that doesn't quite add up. So be it. We'll come south. Hmm. All of them. Everyone's heading that way. Alright, we're coming a bit long on the episode here. The economy is not doing wonderful. But at 93... They're, they're bound to give me anything I want already. I could wait a little bit longer and just like hurt their economy that tiny bit. Hope the rebels start firing. No, I already have what I have. I got 95%. They're going to give me what I want. Okay. So we take... Do I have any cores on you? I don't believe I do. No, this was about... This is about attacking their subject. So, if I'm understanding this correctly, I can take these type of, of land. Uh, these type. His subject's lands. One, two, three. So, that's up there. Wow, that seems cheap. Only nine aggressive expansion for his capital? That's a 15 development? I, I believe I'm getting the half cost on his lands, too. Oh, nice. This, this really seems like I, I'm getting half cost on, on everything here. Okay, so if I did something like this... No, that's a little bit too much. <laughs> okay, let's let's back that up a little bit. Make sure I am getting my claims. I am. Okay, back into the peace treaty. So we did this. I like it. It 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 makes the coalition, but whatever. That that growth is real. And then we just come in and we you do not need to have all of these cores on my land. It seems like an abomination you having all these cores on my land, honestly. 110 aggressive expansion. Boom. Just like that. Oh, we've we've got so chonky. We have I think this is mainly where Skyrim takes place right here. So we have a we have the majority of Skyrim. We have the majority that we're almost at majority of the Nordic coast. I think that'll allow us to start actually force converting up here at some point. But the growth is real, folks. Comment, like, all that great stuff. How is your campaign going? Gonna see about trying to get this um, latest expansion working. I may have an extra great project on my capital. Come back to check it out. Till then, you have a great day. Goodbye.